Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here back again with another tool review video for you. Today I have the Blue Driver Bluetooth uh, scanner from Lemur. Not that long ago I did a review on the Actron U-Scan. Some of you had issue with the in-app purchases in addition to the cost of the tool that you needed to deal with. Uh, this may be a nice alternative. Uh, many of you also mentioned the Torque app uh, as well. But here is the Bluetooth adapter from Lemur, as I said, and it is, uh, well, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as far as uh, the scan tool capabilities go. It does uh, read and clear codes. It does repair reports based on VIN and trouble code access to top responded fixes unique to your vehicle as reported by professional mechanics live data, gauge, graph, uh, log, and export. So you can also export uh, your findings with this as well. New features added to app on a regular basis. So these, these application-based, uh, this works on Android and iPhone. These application-based scan tools, I'm starting to see more and more of these. So unboxing, as you can see, you've got some instructions. You've got the actual tool itself. And that's it. I mean, all that packaging just for this little uh, Bluetooth thing here. A couple of things before I, I go here real quick. Uh, as far as the country of origin of the tool, it was designed in Canada, assembled in China. Something else, it says, please note, some premium app features such as repair reports require an extra in-app purchase. Uh, Blue Driver app for, see the Blue Driver app for details. Uh, the instruction sheet that comes in there is just the basics as far as pairing it up. So it looks like all it is is a disclaimer, limited warranty, and some quick, uh, some quick setup stuff that honestly is, is also in the tool itself. So now let's head over to the uh, Element, hook this up and see what it can do. I'm gonna start by just uh, plugging it into the DLC port. The one, the one issue I do have with this is it, I'd like to get some positive feedback when I plug this in. I plugged it in, the blue light comes on, so I know that it's plugged in, but uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's plugged in. I keep wanting to push it back up on there. But it, it seems to stay, and when it's connected, uh, that blue light uh, should come on or flash or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn the key on. And that's my mileage. My check engine light is not on currently. Now I'll pull up the app on my phone. And when it's working, you'll see that it starts to flash, that it's communicating, and it's hooked up. Now, I paired this earlier. I just went into my settings, uh, found the device, clicked on it. I had to click on it a few times. I did have some issues pairing it, but I believe that has more to do with my phone than the actual device. Uh, once it's paired up like it is now, it seems to work just fine. Uh, the first thing I guess you'll notice is the interface, which is pretty clean, laid out. You know, it's got the scan tool. Uh, these are the options, read codes, clear codes, repair reports. Repair reports was the thing that they indicated might uh, require an in-app purchase to get more uh, information from. Uh, freeze frame data, uh, also a smog check. Uh, this might be a good thing to purchase, like say you failed a smog check or you had a check engine light uh, and you want to know what's going on, you can just uh, click that and uh, it will tell you whether or not you'll, you'll pass an emissions test. Uh, also, mode 6, uh, the mill status, vehicle information, and get this, flashlight. So it, it turns on the flashlight on my phone. I'm not sure why I need that. Uh, live is, well, we'll get to that in a minute, but this is the live data. And then more, you have uh, the Get Started, which, which basically shows you that exact same sheet that uh, you saw inside the box there. Uh, here's something to order a sensor uh, if you just got the app. If you want to update the sensor, it's here. Uh, rate review, contact, app features. Uh, tells you about all the uh, things that it's capable of. Unlock the first five re free repair reports. Scanning and clearing trouble codes. ABS, it does do ABS. Um, it does freeze frame mode six. We saw the smog check, live data PIDs, five repair reports. Yeah, so, and here's, here's your credits and things like that. So why don't we just go through the motions of, like say, reading codes. It will scan for codes. You can see it talking. And no codes were found, because as I said, 
there aren't any codes at the moment. You can also, it looks like clear right up here, and this looks like a way to where you can share uh, your information. So if you're not really sure what you're looking at, you want to share it on a forum, or you just you want to show it to a friend and have them look at it, somebody, a, a technician, what have you, um, you can do that. Uh, and to clear codes, uh, you just basically hit that and clear trouble codes. Yes. Not that there are any trouble codes, but just to show you how that works. Uh, the repair reports. Um, oh, okay. So he, this is where the code definitions are. So this is where you get like extra help. Uh, and this, apparently, they give you five of these free. And then, uh, and these are top reported fixes. And then after that, it's an in app purchase. Uh, I will look up what that is. Along with the cost of the tool, that will be in the description. Uh, along with a link to where you can uh, purchase the tool for yourself. So that's that's one of the things, you know, so you'll get a, a list of codes here that you can check into and it will give you information on what that code could possibly be based on real repair fixes. So that's kind of nice. I'm, I'm starting to see that more and more. Uh, the, the Actron also had that, but uh, once again, additional purchase. Uh, freeze frame data, and freeze frame data is like, say, when you, uh, when it does set a code, it will record all the information that was present when that code was set. Uh, some scan tools will give you a little bit of time before and a little bit of time after. I don't know if that's the case with this one. Uh, and since I don't have any codes, I wonder if I'm even going to get any freeze frame data out of this. Yeah, no response from vehicle. The, the fact that I don't have uh, any check engine light codes would probably be more of that. The smog check is nice also. You can just hit scan. That will go through and scan to see if uh, anything relative. So smog readiness uh, check warning. This I think is just a warning, but everything that's green is good. Since I just cleared the codes, none of these tests have been run. So they're they're in a cautionary state. If you're looking to, to do a repair and check to see your check your work, this will be the way to do it. But you may need to drive it a little bit to oops sorry. You may need to drive it a little bit in order for it to uh, give you information. Uh, the mode six stuff is like deeper in as far as the values of uh, the PIDs. Uh, so he, yeah, has no mode six test report. So it hasn't, since I just cleared everything out of here, I have nothing. <laughs> but but mode six will, will give you a little bit more information beyond just regular check engine light codes. The mill status, check engine light is off. It tells you how long it's been since it's been off, which is nice. So it's, it's recorded that, that information in your computer and it's giving it back to you here. And vehicle information, if I entered my VIN number here, enter or swipe to select a vehicle year and make. Oh, there we go. Let's just try it out. Where's, where that, oh, there you are, Honda, Honda, come back. And it looks like it tells you if ABS is supported yeah, see, ABS scanning is supported on some, but not on others. So apparently my Honda system does not have that uh, capability, whereas it looks like it's got major domestic makes. But this is a is an updatable tool. It's an updatable app, so they may add things over time and, and give you more capability. And last, we, we did the flashlight, and we talked about this other stuff here on this final page. So now we go to live. And live is nice. You first start by clicking this gear up here. Live is nice because you can select what PIDs you want to come up. So you can select whatever you want to see. So if you want fuel system status, uh, check engine or calculated engine load, uh, coolant temperature sensor, short term and long term fuel trim, engine RPM, vehicle speed, intake manifold, absolute pressure. These are just the ones available for mine. You may have more available on your vehicle. Intake air temperature sensor, O2 sensors, uh, wide range O2, uh, relative throttle position. And now that you have all those on there, let's start the vehicle up. Now that I have all these on here, it will give me all the values. But wait, there's more. Check this out. Put it in landscape mode and you've got a, a line graph. You can see what all our values are. It's like that ends O2 sensor fired off. Bank one sensor two.
short term is yellow, long term is blue. Those are pretty close. You can see the purple, the engine temperature going up. Engine RPM is going down, the idle's coming down as, as we're going. So there I can look at the switching of my O2 sensor. And if I just want to see that, if I just want to see my O2 sensor, I can turn all these other things off. Bank one, sensor one. We'll look at both O2 sensors, like we're checking a catalytic converter. Oh wait, <laughs> have to head back first. Looks like we'll give it a little bit of time. It might have these mixed up because I would think that what's listed is my wide range bank one, sensor one would be my O2 sensor in the cat. Bank one sensor two looks like my primary sensor or like what my primary sensor should look like. So it almost looks like these are backwards, uh, but it looks like it, it's got a really nice graph as far as how it's uh, operating. So I would say rich lean, rich lean, whereas my catalytic converter seems to be working. I would say that these are, these are switched. Uh, just a glitch but if uh, you were hoping to interpret this data that might be uh, you know that might be misleading but a cool app let's wrap this up I would say it's a it's a capable tool uh, it's it's affordable there's there's less to pay for out of pocket to start with uh, you're gonna pay for the information it seems to me that that's that's the way of things if you want that additional information to find out what that code means or how to go about diagnosing the code or uh, with the most common fixes for a particular code that you might find. That's information that you're gonna pay for. It looks like just about no matter where you go. If you just wanna get the job done, if you just wanna get in there, do a smog check, see why your check engine light is on, maybe look at some of your live data, this, this would be the way to go. Uh, and ABS is only supported on some makes at this time. I'm sure they'll expand that. I can't really speak for it, we'll find out. As far as what you get, it works. I actually had less trouble pairing this one up than I did the Actron, but once again, that could very well be my phone and have nothing to do with the actual scan tool itself. So we'll take that with a grain of salt. The blue driver from Lemur, interesting tool. It's interesting the direction that we're going with scan tools. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing more Bluetooth stuff like this. And I really wouldn't be surprised if one day, maybe we wouldn't even need to plug anything in at all. Maybe the vehicle would already have Bluetooth capabilities and be able to communicate with scanners outside the vehicle. Pure speculation on my part, but it would do away with the need for these tools. Anyway, I am Eric the Car Guy, and I really hope that you enjoyed this here tool review that we did for you today. Uh, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com where I have a myriad of solutions for you if you do have those automotive questions. There's a welcome video to tell you about all those things and what they are and how to use them. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty, and don't forget to play with your tools. I will see you next time.